Hey everyone, welcome to a special edition of Matt's RV Reviews. Now, this is a part one, part two video series. Tonight is part one, Saturday night, and then on Monday night will be part two. This is my journey and experience at the Albuquerque Balloon Festival. The first part of the episode, we're meeting with Jason and Abby from RV Miles. And then the second part of the episode, you guys know them and love them, it's Phil and Stacy from You, Me, and the RV. I'm, I'm really... I'm really no, I really know you guys are going to enjoy this two part video series. Let's take a look at the video. Hey everyone, what's going on? We're here at the Balloon Festival and I don't even have a, an idea or strategy with what I'm gonna make with this vlog episode. You know, it, it, there might be a reason to it, there might not be a reason to it, but I just wanna share some of the footage with, uh, with you guys. Look at all these balloons. And uh, I made it in time, we're gonna see that balloon go up. Awesome. And, and, and who's gonna be in that balloon? Who's gonna be in that balloon? Uh, oh, it's Jason from RV Miles. What's going on? Uh, I'm a little nervous, but I'm hey, going up in a balloon. When did they tell you you were going up in a balloon? About five minutes ago. <laughs> nice, that's yeah. the way yeah. to do it. Yeah. yeah. That way he couldn't change his mind. Well, while, so. I get to, while I get to see how high they actually are. Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you gonna put it on your channel? Of course. The footage? Of course. RV Miles, we'll link it down below. Get, get the point of view from you. Crap, well, just Jason, as I... Jason's getting ready to go up into the balloon. Woohoo! So, this one right here that needs okay. to be inflated still. Awesome, awesome! Um, they just told him about five minutes ago that he's going. Awesome. And it's you, me, and the RV. What do you want to say to the world? Hi, how are you? Did, did, are you camping here? Yeah, of course. You're not, you're not a hoteler like me? Most of us brought RVs with us. Right, you right, know, the, right. The RV YouTube channels yes. actually have their RVs. Right, right, right. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're working on that, folks. We're working on that. Yeah, uh, Phil and I couldn't wait to see him to let him know he needs to correct that for next time. Yes, yes, absolutely. Hi, Phil. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good. Hey, check it out. This balloon right here, Yeah. they just found a rip in it. Oh, yeah. so she, she can't fly, so they got to take it to the shop. And oh, well, that's good that they found it. And another lady said, that's a $20,000 oops. Yeah, but they found it beforehand. Before yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right, right. Most yeah. importantly. And, and she's, I mean, she's crying. Oh, she's she's that, yeah, she's crying. I mean, that's a lot of money and devastating. Yeah. Right. She will take so it to the shop. They're going to go get it fixed tomorrow, today and tomorrow. They'll, they'll be able to fly it. So the other balloon is this one, she said. So they at least have... Oh, they bring backup balloons. <laughs> no, oh, no, that's no, smart. No, it's a husband and wife. Yeah. Oh. They both fly. And Got so it. Her, the husband is our official balloonist, but she's our secondary one because she's going to help Sandy, us out. Sandy, can I see your hat? I hope you don't have to use the bathroom. <laughs> right? Like there's nowhere to go. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, no, you can't even you can't even pee on yourself because you get the person next to you wet. Oh, right? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You survived. survived. Northwestern Mutual gets to keep their money. <laughs> How was it? It was amazing. There's nothing, nothing like that. I, you, there's no other way you could get that kind of view. You're just like floating above, and to be here in Albuquerque, in the shadow of the mountains, yeah. and just floating over a city with all the other balloons. Oh, that was incredible. Now, now, will you share any footage with us? Yeah. 
No. Yeah. Say no. 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 You got to go to his channel. channel. Yes, we have a link <laughs> down below, RV Miles, and you got tons of videos and footage. Yeah. Oh, too much. Good. Good. <laughs> good. Much. Yeah. How far away were you? How far we, away did you land? We went. Uh, we flew 4.6 miles. Oh, really? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, at one mile an hour. <laughs> now, where'd you land? It was at a just a big park. So they they. Apparently, they just kind of pick a spot, they find an open field and go for it. That's but amazing. There's a big park that was open and a lot of balloons ended up there because they all, you know, flying with the same wind. So I'm riding my e-bike through the campground here at the Albuquerque Balloon Festival and these guys stop me. Who are you? Oh, hey, how's it going, Matt? This is Stacey? Phil and Stacy. Right, from me in the RV. Wonderful. How's it going, guys? Excellent. It you, is awesome. You guys were just admiring my bike, weren't yeah, you? That is a yeah. sweet ride you got there. Yeah. Don't you? Aren't you guys brand ambassadors for e-bikes as yes. well? That's yes. right. We, we love our electric. Yes. We just electric. Had the 2.0. Very cool. Yeah, I love it. Um, you know what I love about it? I love the foot holders there. <laughs> Phil has foot holders That's right. too. Yeah. I have pedals. No. I love the throttle. Yes, yes, the throttle. throttle the way yeah, you go. I didn't even know that was an actual bike that pedaled. I was just <laughs> using the throttle the whole time. There you go. So what's going on, guys? What, you're here at the Albuquerque That's Balloon right. Festival. This is our first time here. We are loving every minute of it. The, uh, the balloons yeah. are coming right over the rig and landing in front of us. Yes, we landed there earlier yeah. on. Yeah. And yes, the huge field. And it is, I feel like a little kid oohing and on over all the balloons in the sky and the colors. It's been amazing. Watching the balloon fiesta on TV does not do it justice. Nope. Yes. Coming here is, I mean, this is a bucket list item for us to come to this event. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Yeah, now did you guys go up in the balloon? We did. Yes. Do you have video on that? We, we absolutely do. Coming soon. Make sure you guys subscribe to That's them. Right. That's it's right. That's awesome. right. So we have some questions for you. We're going to grow you. But first, is there anything else that's going on? Oh, like yes. you're not just here on vacation. You are that's doing right. a little bit of work, but not paid work, volunteer work. What, what's going on? So we are actually doing a silent auction for our favorite military charity, that's Homes right. for Our Troops, which will be mm. tomorrow. And we've got some great products that we're going to be auctioning off. To include one of those bikes here. Yep. Oh, right. snap. Yes. Dang. Electric, Electric kind donated. Enough to donate. yep. We have Battleborn batteries. We have um, water filters. Throw them all out there. Yes. We yes. Have, oh my gosh. Yes. So Many. They don't have a waggle, but I want to throw in waggle as well. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we, we are every, really excited. Every item that we have in the auction is on our website. Um, At todayisomeday.net. Someday.net. That's right. I drew a blank there for a minute. <laughs> but it, it's all good for a good cause, and we're hoping that we do right by the 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 companies that donated and for Homes for Our Troops. Right. I love that. Now, by the time you guys are watching this, they've already donated right. a ton of money. Right. Congratulations. And uh, But don't worry, guys. When you, when you watch them, they're, they're not... They're not like, oh, let's do something one time. They're always donating, always right. volunteering, right. just doing the most for the community. It kind of makes me feel like a bad person because I, I don't even do that much. So we, we really do appreciate that. Yeah, and when we leave here, we're going to volunteer with our favorite volunteer group, A Year to Volunteer. That's if right. you don't know who they are, check, it, check them we'll out. We'll link them, we'll link them. Yeah, yes. it, is a, it is a phenomenal group and, and they're doing great things across the country. I love that. Of I, course, they're prior military too. So of course, that bond with us is always there. Navy yes. and his name is Phil. What more can you ask for? What more can you ask for? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your motorhome. So right. I'm looking at it. And I, one, I already know what it is because I watch the show. Right. But this is a 2016 Tiffin Allegro in the best color. The, I call it the Tiffin color. Yes. You know, the, the you know, it's just 95% of Tiffins are this color. Very so distinct. So what model is this? Is this a 33AA this is or the, the 37PA? 33 33AA. 33 yep. Okay, why did you go with that model? Well, we actually had two on our list. Okay. This one was on the list and the 37PA was on the list. Yep. And we wanted used. Um, we wanted somebody else to take the hit. Yeah. And Bill found this one with 10,000 miles on it, so Woo. we went to go look at it. Yeah, she was gently used, and she had a lot more life in her, and we have, I mean, everything about Ruby, she's 35 feet long, four slides, we can fit 12 adults in the living room comfortably. Yes. Um, it just, everything about it just fit us to a T. And yeah. her name's Ruby? Ruby, Ruby Red. Red. Ruby Red, Ruby yep. Red, I yep. love that. Now, um. Now, this is great because this is a perfect size motorhome for a part-time family who has a, a house stationary, right? Yes. Absolutely. Part-time or full-time. Yeah. Right. Mean, no, I, I was trying to make a joke. Yes. You guys yes. sold everything, right? Oh, we oh, did yeah. sell everything. So, uh, this is our full-time home. And, you know, we use the 
we work in here, we do all our videos. So for us, it's perfect. And we, what, what I love the most about it is the living room feels like a living room. I feel like I'm in a house. And like Phil said, we've had up to 12 adults in that living room comfortably, you know, with a few cocktails and having a little fun. Oh yeah. My favorite part is the diesel. I wanted the diesel, the rear engine, um, that's where the red comes from, rear engine diesel. Yes. And uh, I wanted the power as we're full timing and she climbs hills beautifully. Yes, yes. So that's funny because you guys just gave me two likes. I do need another thing that you love about it. But then if you guys don't mind, Matt's RV reviews fashion. I want to know three things that you don't like about your motorhome. Okay. Sweet. What's one more, the third one we more. love? Um, the e-bike storage. Thanks, <laughs> e-bike. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What is the we, third thing? I don't know. We love everything about it. To yeah. me, it's comfortable. It's home. And I love the fact that once we put on our put in our Battleborn batteries and our solar on the roof, we oh, yeah. literally take this thing everywhere. So yeah. don't be afraid to take your motor home, no matter how short or how long, out on BLM. Take it take it off-road and have a great time. Now, yeah. now, when you guys are out there, are you recording that as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Cool. That, that's and another great I, reason that, to subscribe. My other like is that... I am comfortable driving Ruby like I am with my Jeep. She drives beautifully. Good. Um, it's a great setup. Good. Uh, you know, it's on a Freightliner chassis. Yeah, Freightliner chassis, Cummins, 360 uh, 60 horsepower, yeah. 3,000 hours in transmission. Yes. So, yep. you know, uh, Freightliner just does a great job with that. Yep. And uh, and then not only that, something that I do want to mention, you guys, you went to the um, National Institute of RV Trainers, right? Oh, we went to NRVTA. NRV uh, why why did you do that? Academy. Uh, I wanted to go to through the certified tech course. One, I wanted to be able to work on Ruby myself. Perfect. Um, that that that's what save I save money that's and what time. I, not not just the money and time, but when you are working on it, is that content that you guys record? Uh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Perfect. We, we share, you know, we share how we do things and yes. we fix things. Yep. And we tell people all the time this is how we did it. Trust but verify if you're gonna do the same thing. Yeah, yep. no, and that that's really important. That's why I wanted to mention that because so many people they're all like, Matt, you should do DIYs and how to's and fix your upper. And I'm like, listen, guys, you see these hands? I'm not <laughs> My dad was a mechanic. Uh, he built transmissions. I got zero of those genes. <laughs> so I always like, you know, I, I love Izzy and MJ from MSRV. And I always like to promote other channels, especially oh, yeah. when they are doing their own work themselves. Yeah. Because again, when you bring it to an RV dealership, they're they're gonna take you to the house. Yeah. You know, well, so yes. so the fact that you can do it yourself is amazing. And as full timers, we don't have the luxury of dropping it off and going to our sticks and bricks. Oh. We've got to be, you know, it's got to be fixed it's right gotta away. It's got to be quick. Or we're in a hotel waiting, and uh, you know that that puts the kibosh on full timing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so real quick, tell us three things you don't like about your motorhome. All right, every, with every RV, there's pros and cons. Yes. You you have to have them both. So for me, the number one, my number one is. The bathroom's a little small. Yep. So if we had gotten the 37 PA, we would have had a mm -hmm. much larger bathroom. It's a we huge literally, bathroom. if we're in there together, it's we're like squished. this. Oh man. So it's tiny. Yeah. My, okay. My dislike is I have one pass through storage bay. Oh. I would, the 37 PA would have been a great one for us because it had it the two. Had a second. Yep. Uh, but with more storage means more stuff. Yep. So it goes hand in hand. Yep, yep. All right, and I would say our third one, which is probably for both of us, is our kitchen does not have a window in our kitchen mm. and it gets really dark in there. We feel like sometimes we're in a cave. It just gets darker yep. and darker as you go to the bedroom. So we, we really like the newer models that are coming out with it. Well, they and listen to you guys. They, they, they do. Did. That's they one did. thing Tiffin is good at. And what we did to try to lighten the mood um, in the kitchen area is we painted the lower cabinets and to us, it looks like it came with the yes, rig. I mean, we it's just, love it. it. It did help the the kitchen uh, brighten, brighten it, up. it up a little bit. Yeah. Perfect. And can we see the inside of the cabinets right now? Well, we would let you, <laughs> but no, because you can't even walk in there because we right. have all of our auction stuff in there. Well, then you know what they got to do, right? They have to come and watch. They got to right. go to That's you, right. me, and our RV YouTube channel. Subscribe, watch their videos, see their cabinets, see what other changes that they make, and just see them full time That's in an right. RV. And then not only that, Absolutely. make a positive impact in the world everywhere you go. That's, That's right. right. And we don't mind if you laugh at us or with us. <laughs> just come along with us on our journey. Thank you guys so much for being on the show. Yeah, and uh, am I going to see you guys in Tampa? You oh, know absolutely. it. We'll be there. Perfect. We will be At there. the RV show? Yes. yes. Perfect. Today is Sunday. Absolutely. That's next time. We'll see you guys then. Thanks, we'll Matt. see you on, on the, the road. road. Oh, nice. Great. Again, guys, that was part one. Make sure you guys don't miss out on Monday night's episode, which is part two, which, oh, uh, we have these, Andrea. 
these RV Life Hot Air Balloon stickers, and there's somebody in that sticker, but we're gonna cover it up. <laughs> we're not gonna tell everybody who. Listen, guys, I'm telling you, set your reminders, set your alarms, whatever you have to do, you're not gonna wanna miss Monday night's episode. Also, we're gonna be talking with our friends, Nate and Marissa from Less Junk More Journey. We're gonna see if they still like their RV, and uh, we'll also be talking to, um, there's this little YouTube channel called Changing Lanes. I've heard uh, of them. Yeah, they're, they're a little YouTube channel, maybe like 200,000 subscribers. We're also going to meet them on the episode. And again, Andrea, there's one major thing that happens in episode two. Ooh, but I can't wait to see. Who, who, who the heck knows what it is? And uh, we'll see everybody Monday night. Bye.